How are we doing today everybody? This is RDN Gaming and I'm going to be taking you through a Doug Flurry Maximum Football 2019 logo editing tutorial. Now this logo editor I really found difficult to make and difficult to use I guess. So let me let me take you a bit through what the overall haul looks like. So let's make well, actually, let me pull up one of my current ones. So I'm going to pull up this logo I made here for... Well, I'll do two. Um, uh, I'll pull up Vanderbilt. Okay, here's Vandy's logo. This is what I've made for Vanderbilt. And I put it on their helmet, made it their midfield logo, and it looks great. But let's deconstruct this and remake it. I'll show you guys how to do that right now. So to toggle through what you're going to do for the actions, you're going to use R2. You're going to go to shape actions here. And then you're just going to delete. Well, I'm going to delete everything. Sometimes you have to click it twice for it to go before it um, is done flashing. So, all right. so here, right now, we can scroll through the pages using the, uh, the D-pad left and right and then you select using the left stick and since Vanderbilt's logo is a star we'll have a star but if you want to duplicate it right now you can hit X and that's what I'm gonna do but if you don't hit X you're going to be stuck with this one star which is fine so basically whatever logo you choose you don't want to hit X if you only want one like if I only wanted one big circle I would leave it here not hit X and then go to canvas actions and then this would be the only circle I have I'm going to go back to shape actions, go to my star, and hit duplicate. So going back to the canvas actions, you can see that I now have two stars. So to change colors, you're going to use right stick. So I'm going to use my black portion of the star first. Perfect. So there's my black star. And now I'm going to make this big, and you can use that you can use it and adjust the scale using circle maybe B for uh, Xbox I'm not sure whatever the control is it'll tell you in the menu there then you use the left stick to adjust its proportions so we'll call it good right there and then we can move it up so where did our other part go well it's just kinda chilling up behind so hit R1 or L1 to change part and the part is the shape so you can see here I now have the left or the white star I'm dragging it down here using X to move it and the left stick to to fix its position so this is currently sitting behind but if I wanted it to be in front all I hit is L2 and now it's in front that just kinda changes the order of what comes first I'm going to hit L2 once again, and you can see it's now going to be behind. But Vanderbilt has a gold color to it. So if you want a gold color, all you're going to have to do is start adjusting your red, green, and blue sliders to however you want. Um, that looks pretty good right there. I like it right about there. So now we're going to hit scale and make it big. And since the yellow is behind this logo, we're going to drag it behind the black, spread it out, make it big, and get it as its backdrop. That looks okay right now. I'm, I'm happy with how it looks. So let's get into how did I get that V? Well, great question. So what you want to do is not what I just did. I'm sorry. So you're going to go back to the shape actions. You're going to hit add new. And then once you hit add new, go back to canvas actions. And what you're going to do now is hit the right stick down. And that will give you a letter. And obviously you need V in the middle. So how do we get from A to V? Simple. Hit R2 again. Go to shape actions. Okay, now you can choose the style that you want. I'm going to go down to V here. But you can choose the style of the letter however you want however you think fits the logo the best so if I think oh I like this the best 
Princeton is what it's called. You go back to shape actions, scale, oops, that's why is it a P? Okay. Go back to canvas actions and make it make the scale what you want. Alright. And we'll call that good. So once you're done, all you need to do is hit options. Or sorry, you're gonna go to file actions, hit save logo, and you might hear a click in the background. And then you can go to logo selector and see now that it's changed. Let's go to something a little bit more difficult, however. Um, which one of these logos do I want to recreate? Hmm. Let's go to Utah Utes. All right. So I'm going to clear all of this out. And then I will go back and make the Utes logo. So obviously the Utes logo, if you're familiar with it, great. If you're not, even better, I can show you how to make it now. So we're going to use the simple white square, or excuse me, white circle that we have here. And then we're going to make it big. Because this is how the U, the Utah's logo looks. So we're going to drag it right about here because if you don't know, it has that feather-like tail at the end. Okay, great. So now we have this white circle. And let's say we wanted to add a rim to it. Oops, sorry about that. We're going to add new. Go over to this empty circle here. All right, now we only need one of them, so we're only going to keep it. Uh, just once do not duplicate it, but you the logo is red. So what if we just made it red? Simple we're gonna change the colors and then scale this again And you want to get it just so it's on the inside of this circle Make it a little smaller. It's kind of difficult you can use a d-pad to move and adjust the scale as well as long as as well as move the actual logo Great, so now we have this white rim. Let's go back to our, sh our um, file, excuse me, our shape actions, add new. Now we have this white square, but what I'm gonna do is go back to the canvas and you know what to do, make the shape. So we can make the shape, we're gonna make it a co different color right now, just so we can see the shape. We're going to make it black, or excuse me, we're gonna make it red because that's what the Utah logo is, it's red. Go back to shape actions, and this one works really well with the varsity. So I'm gonna go back to the canvas actions, make it big. The, the U fills up most of the logo, most of the circle rather. So, all right, that looks decent. I like that. Maybe I'll just uh, maybe move it center a little bit. Great. So now we have that tail-like feather to worry about. Let's go back to canvas, excuse me, shape actions. We're gonna hit add new. But before we do that, I'm gonna backtrack. Back in canvas actions, once you've added a new part, you're gonna hit R3 and change the letter back to a shape. So now we can go back and find the shape that we want. And this is going to do us just fine. I'll add a couple of them. I'll duplicate it once to have some variety. All right. So now we've got this big kind of feather-like thing. And we can throw it behind using L2. All right. Great. So let's move. Let's select the other wing. Use R1 to toggle through the parts. R1 or L1, doesn't matter. And then we will also make this one. Kinda like this. We'll throw it behind this part yet again. And you know what, that doesn't look terrible. I don't hate it. Um, let me show you some rotation. You can rotate it using square. But really get it get it to however you want. And you can also I might make this red. Just because I can. We make it red back there. Now we have red accent in the background. And I think it looks pretty good right now. So what we can do is go back to file, 
and save it. And that's pretty pretty much a basic tutorial on how to use the logo editor in Maxwell and Football 2019. It does take a little bit to get used to, um, and they do have some very basic shapes as well. Like if you want to replicate, um, let's say, I don't know, the Cowboys, you could use a star, you use the circle for the Steelers. Um, it's, it's just kind of up to up your preference. You know, whatever you want to use is going to be great. You're going to make some great creations. But this was the Doug Foodies Massive Football 2019 logo editor. I am RDN Gaming. Now, I would like to thank you for watching this video. I hope it helped.